All right, y'all, let's get into oxygen being magnetic and gravity and these types of things, okay? Because if you know a little bit about the world and you know about the sky clock and all these little things, all right, um, the mysteries have to be revealed. And uh, just so happens my son was showing me some shorts the other night on YouTube and they froze oxygen. And it mentioned that it was paramagnetic. And we have those heavy metals in our body. We have those light metals in our body. Our blood has that iron in it. When we breathe in, that oxygen binds to that iron and it sends it to that body. Okay? So knowing that it's paramagnetic, knowing we're metals and knowing that we breathe it in and all these things, this is actually kind of what's magnetizing us to this world. And the earth... The sun, moon, us, we create this type of positive and negative charge, like in the Taurus field and such, and uh, one is keeping us down or pushing us down, right? Um, so that can explain quite a bit, all right? Um, and if you think about it, they tell us like on the other side of the world, you're upside down, and we know the sky's blue, all that's water. So imagine if we're actually upside down, right? And that's the deep, and we're being pushed up against the bottom of the earth through the power of the sun, and we're breathing in this oxygen, right? In order to have to get back to the sun, we have to recharge our bodies and get back to the, and recharge the light and enter within and all these other things. and. And, uh, and and we actually need to be kind of introverted and not extroverted on how the world wants us to be, okay? Um, so we have these heavy metals that they're putting in certain foods and such, and we've had times to detox and times to this past 23 years when the millennium opened or even before that, right? Um, the diet books started coming out in the 80s and shit. So all this diet craze, the diet craze, um, started. And this was uh, um, like a lie and some truth, okay? Because they mix it and you have to seek the truth, okay? Um, and then in uh, the 2000s, they came with a book um, by Kevin Trudeau. Um, wasn't that his name? Kevin Trudeau? Anyway, somebody Trudeau. Uh, anyways, there's like 20 things. Uh, a list of 20 things as like an encyclopedia of where to start, right? So this is like your guidebook on, um, pharmaceuticals and, uh, it was like your truth or starter platform for, um, healthy living. All right. Or I shouldn't say healthy living. I should say cleansing the temple. Um, but we've been given all these choices. We've been given all these lifestyles. We've been given all these lights. And it's up to us to enter in to test these things. Okay? So, um... There's a, and, and as well, you have to learn them, but you also have to discipline them. Okay. So to get the de to, to detox your plants, to detox your, your body, you got to go through some extreme conditions. Okay. So, um, this is where, for instance, I ate basically just, uh, raw food for, uh, six months or so and then i was a vegan for seven and a half years after that so eight years total i was eating nothing but fruits vegetables and uh fish once or twice a month um those types of things i wasn't ever like a weirdo vegan or whatever but um the 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 only meat i had for a while was the wild fish and such right but that's not always available. And then I worked into a point in time where I started getting the meat from the farm and those types of things. But um, but you have to work out before you can work back in, right? So when you work your way out and you detox, you can work your way back in and see that that one little 
bite of this or that or whatever actually affects your body to where you don't want to eat it again. So that's where uh, the, the law of nature has a law within itself. But the way our world works is they try and get the babies off the tit and off food, basically, um, from day one. And you go from doing a bottle, which is high fructose corn syrup and all this other shit. That, that's why the baby's getting colic and all this other uh, digestive problems or whatever. Because the baby can't tell you what the fuck is going on. It can't tell you its stomach hurts or whatever. Mom, just feed me real fucking milk. That's all it takes. You got two bags there. Anyways, so you got, and not to mention, this also takes away with female and male natural tendencies of the division per se. So um, it, it, the boys never had a tent in his face. Okay. So there, there's going to be a problem with that. All he's had is this little dangly thing called a bottle. And he gets to suck on that shit instead of a, a nice tit. All right. There's some problems there, people. Think about what's going on. <coughs> Happens in increments. Um, then you go to the jarred food. Rather than just chin up a little bit of food and give it to your baby or, or give them some avocado or banana or whatever whatever natural soft food. There's, God's made it. God's made it as a sequence in, in your diets too. There's, you just... Anyway, it's kind of amazing what's going on. But the heavy metals, they're keeping that that lower chakra from, from shocking. And you're not... Being shocked. Because when you're shocked, you actually move and do something. And then you can go from the ox to the monkey to the eagle to the man. But since the man rides behind the ox and, and the man steers the ox or whatever... The man thinks he's controlling shit when he, he's not controlling anything. The ox is the one in, in, in the front. And the monkey that's riding on the, on the ox can get freaked out by the eagle that comes by every now and then. And you're just riding along. Plowing. The plow, the low. The P-L-O-W. The W. <coughs> Either way, folks. So, um, we maybe need to think about things a little different. All right? Because we're not traveling around the sun. We're not a bunch of cartoon space monkeys and shit. Um, and we're not spinning at a thousand miles an hour at the equator. And zero miles an hour at the fucking North Pole. How does Alaska flights catch up down there when the earth spin is spinning faster than the planes can fly and all kinds of other shit going on that's a whole nother topic dude there's like so much to prove your fucking reality but they've dulled your senses from day one they've from literally day one the the k that k fucking hole that they have everybody going down now And the only reason I know about that is because on our first child, we had the pregnancy at home. It was just meant to happen. Whatever shit happened, but um, the midwife's assistants, whatever, they came over and did whatever. Anyways, it ended up being a so-called um, long labor. We ended up going to the hospital and find out all this other whatever. All right, but um, everything was good. And uh, just so y'all know, um, I wanted to take the placenta home. They didn't let me take the placenta home. All right, some weird stuff going on. And 
the midwife said that's not normal, whatever. But they wanted to keep that placenta. And um, I we didn't pay our bill because of it. No question asked after that. So um, we told them they didn't give us, they didn't, they did not do what we wanted them to do. Anyways, no bill after that. No dings on credit for it, nothing. So just, uh, you don't have to pay for him to have no fucking, you don't have to pay for having a kid, dude. Anyways, um, <clears throat> next three kids had them at home. Um, so the food you eat, they're going to keep your lower chakra from operating. You got to clear that shit out. You've had 20 years to go on detoxes, to eat this way, eat that way, test this, test that. But no, look around. Everybody in the office keeps getting three to five pounds bigger every fucking year or month or whatever, right? Every year they're getting 30 pounds bigger or whatever. Anyways. Um, oh, you're looking great. The, uh, there are certain professions where you kind of stay the same. But for the most professions, like, oh man, that's a whole nother thing. Either way, y'all, these foods are giving y'all in all these boxes, the oxes and shit. That gives the ox the power. And that puts you down in beast mode on all fours. Saying, take it up the old ass from this world and from the boss and the capitalism. They've fed you all these lies to make you love something. It's gonna bite you in the ass. Anyways, um, the fast food, all these canned drinks, all this fucking caffeine people are fiending on. There's nothing wrong with some natural Local roasted style coffee and shit, but they're adding coffee flavoring. They're adding this, that, and the other. You don't know what the fuck is in Folgers. Okay, have some boundaries. Your syrup, Log Cabin Village, or Log, Log Cabin Village, that's in Fort Worth. Log Cabin, if you haven't gone there, go there. It's great stuff. Um, Log Cabin Syrup. Aunt Jemima and shit. It's not even syrup, dude. Get real fucking maple syrup. There's a carnal man, the Jew, and there's a spiritual man, the Greek, and within this, the spiritual man, the natural world, there is a law within a law that operates within nature. So while we can't drink the Folgers, you have to operate and, and see what's in Folgers versus why you want the local or all these little different things, all these little nuances. It's just not so cut and dry. It's why you got to listen, take within, and grow your own tree. All right? But don't complain when your tree is fucking three feet around. And you can't get out of the fucking lazy boy. And you're wondering why you're lazy. Okay? So... Nobody wants to do any common sense. They don't want to do anything until the doctor says, Well, your numbers are a little too high here. Well... You turn 50, I ass prodded you, and we found a polyp. I mean, what the fuck is all this shit? <sighs> Anyways, guys, oxygen keeping us down to the ground, baby.